Good morning. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Okay, the market's back in a confirmed uptrend, and uh, the things I'd like to talk about today is comparing the 2007 market top to today. And the reason I bring this up is as the market's hitting new highs in the Dow, the S&P is closing in on its 2007 top. Uh, a lot of traders are concerned that we're going to spill over just like the way we did back in 2007. So I think it's worth taking a look at what happened then and what's happening now and try to see if we can make heads or tails out of this. Okay, if we look back at 2007, in July, uh, at that time, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ hit new highs. They corrected a little bit, and then in October, they all hit new highs. Then, of course, that was the start of the downfall where the market didn't bottom until March of 2009. What was going on at the top in October of 2007? We go back to the top in July of 2007. We did have some confirmation from the Dow transports. The Dow hit a new high, as did the transports. However, when the market hit a new high in October of 2007, we didn't get any confirmation from Dow Transportation Index. Uh, the S&P, the Dow and NASDAQ were at new highs. However, also let's take a look at some of the ETFs underlying that are important to the market. The XLF, the financial ETF, was in a, been in a downtrend. It pretty much peaked in May and has been trending down. So we didn't get any confirmation of that top in October of 2007. We look at the consumer discretionary ETF, the XLY, we got a similar situation. It also was in a downtrend, peaked in May of uh, 2007. It was not confirming the top we saw in October of 2007. If we look back uh, at the Home Builders Index, it was also in a downtrend. Uh, its most recent high was in May, but actually it's been downtrending since February of 2007. So at that time, you didn't get any confirmation of that October uh, top. And actually, gold started having a big, massive move. It was in the 600s at that point. Started moving to the upside as a sort of flight to safety. So now, if we fast forward and go today, uh, as the S&P is a few points, you know, S&P in October uh, in 2007 hit an intraday high of 1576, had a closing high of 1565. So the S&P right now at about 1550s, uh, approaching these highs, and so naturally everybody's concerned. However, there's a major difference going on right now. The Dow's hitting new highs, the Nasdaq's hitting new highs, and the S&P's hitting new highs. We have confirmation in the Dow Transportation Index also hitting new highs. We have all the small cap stocks, the Russell 2000, hitting new highs. We look at the financial sector ETF, the XLL, XLF, sorry, is confirming this high. We see the same thing in the Home Builder ETF, the XHB, also near its highs. Uh, the Consumer Discretionary ETF, the XLY, also near its highs. And then what we're seeing is actually uh, gold is in a bit, a little bit of a downtrend now. The equities are outperforming gold, and actually equities are outperforming all commodities now. This is a recent shift. We basically had a 13-year period where uh, commodities outperformed equities. So while this isn't for sure, this is something to look for. Uh, another thing to note the difference, too, is back in 2007, you had a lot of heavy volume selling days around the top. So far, we, we don't have that right now. Uh, our last little correction lasted about two weeks, from about February 19th to uh, February 26th. That's where the market bottomed. Last Tuesday, we had a nice follow-through day, and that's when the NASDAQ also broke to new highs. So I'll, on the NASDAQ market, look at the 3200 level. If NASDAQ can hold that, we might be okay to go. Watch out for heavy volume selling days. On the S&P, if we stay above 1530, we still have a shot. We start breaking down below 1530, 1500. Maybe, indeed, we will roll over like we did back in 2007. So all these indicators are just food for thought. Nothing's for sure. As always, watch the price and volume action in the indexes and in your individual holdings. This is George Kachuk, or RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Have a great trading day.